why are people so upset about Christianity in general? Like, specifically atheists. Why do atheists attack Christianity over all the other religions, like Wiccanism and Buddhism? Why, why, do, we, why do we care so much about Christianity? It's because Christianity is forced upon us. <laughs> Paul, do you know of any Christian that forces their religion on other people? No, because it's the opposite. Because the point of Christianity is you need to believe so why would you force it? Because no one would ever believe it. You have to believe in your heart, the Lord Jesus. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know anyone who's forced it on him because you can't force someone to believe someone, something. And, and it's so funny because on the contrary, evolution is what's forced yeah. in schools. So this guy, once again, doing the fallacy of false equivalence like they always do, flinging their own... Uh, fallacies onto Christianity, which we're not going to allow any longer. This guy says, well, Christians force their religion on everybody else. No, we don't. You know, we lay out the facts and give people the opportunity to receive Jesus as Savior. You receive a gift. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That tells me that you receive as a gift the Lord Jesus Christ and salvation. And so nothing is being forced upon uh, this gentleman. Nothing's being forced on people at all other than their religion, which is evolution. Because like I said earlier, it's the only theory that's protected by law and that is forced on other people. So for him to say Christianity is being forced on people is so ridiculous because he himself is having a religion of death, a religion of evolution forced on him. And he doesn't even realize it because he's not taught and people typically are not taught these days what free thought means. What free thought is comparing two sides and choosing the logical path, the scientific path. The Bible says all men have not faith and that there are wicked and unreasonable men who have not faith. So the people who don't have faith in Jesus, the Bible says that they're wicked and that they're unreasonable, which means you cannot reason with them. The Bible also says that fools despise wisdom and instruction. So we can present wisdom and instruction all day, but there will still be people in the comment sections that will despise wisdom and instruction. They'll despise the facts. They'll despise the truth because they know in their hearts that if evolution is wrong, that there's only one, al one other alternative and that's creation. That's why Christianity is focused on so much is because it's forced upon us. This doesn't mean that, that all Christians force their religion on others, but a lot of bad apples do. And I think that people who do force their, their views on others, like go out of their way to, to tell people that they're wrong, that they are wrong. So his definition of forcing your views on other people is going out of your way to tell somebody that they're wrong. Well, number one, that's not forcing your beliefs on somebody. If I just say, hey, you're wrong, I'm not forcing my beliefs on you, number one. And then number two, you say it's wrong if you, you know, if you tell somebody else that they're wrong. Well, you're telling me that I'm wrong for telling somebody else that they're wrong. So you yourself are defeating your own argument when you say that. When you say, you know, when you, when you make a statement like nothing is right or wrong. Well, are you right about that? Or are you wrong about that? When you say those who who, you know, tell people that they're wrong, they are wrong themselves. Well, are you wrong too? Because you're telling me that I'm wrong for telling somebody else that they're wrong. It's a self-defeating argument, which means that logically speaking, there is truth and that at some point there's going to be an argument. There's going to be uh, conflicting worldviews. And that's just the way that life works. That's science 101. That's logic 101. That's, that's the world 101.